Hello and welcome everybody. It's Marcy Bessaker. It is Sunday at noon. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and thank you so much for joining me today. How is everybody? I am so glad to be here on video day because whew, life's been a little crazy. You guys know that I was watching the dogs. Um, okay, I want to make sure you can hear me and you can and reading comments hello everybody laura carol carol and carol laura gloria sharon tashana cindy debbie how is everybody okay so you're probably going to hear dogs outside we're still and my little one inside is like doesn't want to have anything to do with those dogs so i'm sitting my son's dogs right because they come home tonight. They're in Seattle. Um, wonderful dogs, but they're a little hyper. We're not. And so um, I have to show you what my morning was. This just happened right before I went on the video. Does anybody know what this is? Was? Does anybody know what this was? This was my Pampered Chef toast tongs. We had toast this morning, and so we grab our toast out of the toaster. I thought these were the most amazing things because we have toast a lot. And their puppy, the Golden Doodle, who is like 65 pounds, ate my toast tongs. Stephanie, it's not funny. Oh, Lisa, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. I'm trying to read everybody's comments. Hello, everybody. So anyway, um, well, Shauna, if you have an extra pair, I will buy them from you. I'm so sad. We have a pair in our camper and a pair in the house and half of it shredded all over my kitchen right now. So the dogs are outside. My husband doesn't know yet. He's not going to be happy. Anyway, I know Gloria. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. So what we've been doing is picking the dogs come to our house during the day. We watch them. One is a, a mini schnauzer, easy as cake. The puppy, eight months old, big golden doodle. He's a lot. I'm surprised my his tail hasn't wagged my one of my trees down, but no, it's okay still. But then at night we go to their house and the dogs stay in their kennels and their normal sleeping habits. So they'll sleep and we can sleep and I'm not afraid anything's being chewed up in my house. Uh oh, I'm froze, huh? Oh, Sally, I love my cat. I haven't seen her in three days. I can see that she comes out and eats at night when we're at the house, but then she hides because she does not like uh, the big dog. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's enough of my story, but they come home tonight, so I'm very happy about that. Um, it's been a little crazy, so. Oh, kitties are the best. Okay, anyway, on to crafting. The very first thing I must say is um, poor Leslie Knox. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my card. Um, and I say poor because I keep forgetting to thank you for my card. It's been sitting right here in front of me all this time. So I wanted to show you this beautiful card that she made me. And it was a thank you for some bingos. Very, very, I love how you use these cards and then put the DSP on them. Very, very smart because I have a lot of those. So super, super nice. Thank you so much. That was very sweet. Yay, Nancy. Okay, so um, if you are frozen, Becky, um, either refresh or go back out and come back in and um, you should be fine, I hope. So let us know. I hope you're okay. Okay, so thank you very much, Leslie. I appreciate that. I love, love, love getting cards. Um, so today we are going to make this beautiful card. And I'm going to change it up a tiny bit because I'll tell you what I don't like about it. And then um, we're going to change up a little bit anyway. So before that, I want to tell you that my December code is now up. I'm closing my November card today. 
our um, party today. So if you want to order something, uh, you can still use the November code today. Uh, but after probably, oh, 10 o'clock my time tonight, I, it will be December only. But if you use December, you'll be safe. Um, December is still going to be good all month. So there's that. Again, really important. Bingo is December 14th. I am really excited about the project because I have two down. Um, one is really different because I'm using the days to remember. That was a request. And then I'm also going to do a fancy fold pop-up kind of fun card. And uh, it would be really something that you could leave sitting out on your desk or your counter or whatever. So you can go to my blog and go under events and go to bingo and it'll just walk you through right there. You can fill out the registration form. That's where you give me your numbers, your address, everything. That's where my list pulls in on who's signed up. And then you can go over to shop or there's a button at the bottom that you can pay and just pay directly from there. So don't forget that. There are only two more days for this join special. I'd love to have you guys on my team. I know you've heard me talk about it, but it truly is an amazing deal. And this week, December 1st, demonstrators are going to be able to purchase from the new mini catalog, which I have, and this one right here. I can't show you. I know one of my downlines looked at it for the first time last night and said, oh my gosh, it's amazing. She's a new downline. So I was excited that she loved it. So now if I put it back there, it's going to go right on my keyboard. And there we go. Okay. Oh, good, Gloria. Thank you. I'm sure they do because I just ordered some. And Tashana, I didn't see if you said you had any, but if you do, I know how it is having stuff in stock. So I'll buy one if you have one. If not, I'll reorder one. But I love them. We use them all the time. So for those of you that missed it, um, we're, house, we're, we're dog sitting and he ate my tongs. Okay. Anyway, so let's get on with the card. Um, I'd love for you guys to join bingo. Don't forget about that. Um, penguins are available. I keep getting asked, when are the penguins available? They are available. So, um, go get them now, or at least they were two days ago. I should check again, but, um, they were available. So don't miss out on those and let's get busy. So this is the card. Super cute. Of course I added some Wink Estella. So I'm going to kind of show you what I did. Uh, and then I'm going to do a couple things a little bit different. And so let's just get started with that. So, of course, I took a white, thick card base. Doo, doo, doo. So did anybody get some super duper specials? Anything that you had on your list that you needed to get and you said, oh, it's on sale. Okay, we're going to use Artistly artistically inked and of course the dies we're going to use the flowers the leaves and we're going to stamp with this little one but we are not going to die cut that and then on the first card i used the timeless tropical because i love this birthday may your birthday be memorable this is just such a pretty stamp so i used that one um, but i'm going to change that up a bit and we're not going to use that because um i want to change it up a little bit so we're going to change our card and look at it, I still I'm still using the same paper it's not too bad that's what I get for being gone and rushing in here and thinking oh I could just jump on and go and I'm like oh that paper looks good we're going to use it all right so we have our layers this is four by five and a quarter and then this one is four and an eighth by five and three eighths Hi, Jennifer. Did you order your catalogs when we were sending them out to demonstrators? When are they sending out? Oh, so Nancy Lee, um, I did order my catalogs that are going out to my customers. So those will be going out. Um, we have to close that order by uh, tomorrow or the next day. And I closed it last night. So that's ready to go. And for demonstrators, I'm not sure. I think right now we're looking at the PDF to order from 
but we're going to be getting a list that's going to come out um, because you know how things come in. Let me explain this real quick. So how things come in and are available, it changes daily. So right before we're able to order, which is December 1st, we're going to get a list showing us what's available um, because sometimes the things may not come in until the middle of December for our big launch on January 4th. So they will, uh, during leaders, they told us they will get out a list showing us what's um, not available basically because we're still waiting for it to show up. And so, because we get to order early, of course. Got my mini catalog of celebration, lovely things. Let's uh, Carol, did you get that in the mail? Maybe they've already mailed. I have mine from um, on stage, so I'm not really sure. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of how that I know that it's working, but we should be getting a mini time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set these aside. And we're going to go ahead and do our, our blending. So what I did is I chose to use these three. Oh, I think I wrote the wrong colors down. Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, and Pacific Point. So I will change that below. So these are the blues that I used. Okay, you're welcome. And so what we're going to do is start with the lightest first. Now, what I like to do is take a dry, even if it's a dry baby wipe or paper towel, whatever you have, and I have a dry tissue right here. And so what I'm going to do, because I'm using a blue, and I use my same brush for all of the blues, okay? So I'm just going to kind of wipe off, because I did use the darkest blue last. And I'm pushing hard, but if you were to just do this, you know, you're not going to get that much, but I'm wanting to get all this darker blue off and it's up to you. You may have brushes that have the lighter um, blue on them, but I am just going to keep rubbing this until I get a little bit of that blue off in the mail. Okay. So ours should be coming anytime. Yeah, I got mine from on stage too, Kathy. And then that's, that's, um, how most of us have ours yet, but if they're, they're starting to mail them out, we should be getting them. But the PDF is available for us to see, so. Okay, so I think I'm fine with that. I got a lot of it off. Once we go in the lighter color, you'll see what, what I mean by, we're gonna blend all the colors anyway. So I'm gonna use from, um, hmm, it's listed below, I think it's called Planned stencils. I wish I would have wrote it down. Sorry. Um, but I wrote it, but it's linked below because there's a couple different stencil packs and this has a big solid piece right here kind of. And so I want that more to the edge. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of move this towards the edge and right there is okay because we're going to be covering pretty much that up, but I want a lot of this littler stuff. So we're just going to tape that down. All right, we're gonna go with our pool party. Can you pick three other blues for me? I don't have any of those blues. Hmm. Yeah. Um, you could do balmy blue. I would do balmy blue, maybe mint macaron, even though it's a green, it's a light, a lighter color, and then use like misty moonlight. Or Night of Navy, you could do that. I wouldn't use Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy at the same time because they're both kind of dark. Um, I got mine in the mail. Oh, you did, Jennifer. Oh, maybe mine's coming today because you're not far from me at all, a few hours. Um, okay, so we're going to just go like this with the pull party. And I'm going to go, I'm trying to think if I'm going to change this. I'm going to go with the same kind of pattern. I'm going to hold it over here because we're not, we're not going to color over here, but I want to come down this way. So I'm just going to hold it like this and start off and just kind of come on. And this is just with our lighter color. So it's going to be a little hard to see. I don't want to push too much because I do have the darker blues on here. So we're just going to layer it up a little bit. And 
And I know you're going to be like, oh, well, why do you even put that color on there if you put the other colors? Because you're going to see the difference once we add all three colors. It just looks a little bit different than any color that we have. Okay, and by doing it in circular motion, you're getting those darker lines closer to the edge, which is what I want. But on this one, we're going to go a little heavier because it's the lightest color. Okay, so just kind of wherever you want it. And depends on what you want. If you want it super dark, you would maybe rub your pad a little bit more. Um, but, well, Stephanie, that's because I haven't checked my mail in a couple days because we've been going back and forth. and So it could be in there. All right, so there's our first color. So we just laid a nice layer down. And now I'm going to go to the next color, which is Coastal Cabana. And so I'm going to take a tissue again, except my box got stuck. Okay, so we we'll just have a little bit here. And I'm just going to kind of take that off. Just mainly that top layer. Now we're going to go to Coastal Cabana. I would just make sure you use only one dark blue. The other ones um, are going to be like a little bit lighter. All right, so here we go. Hold this again. And then we're just going to come in. See how it's adding that little bit of a greenish tinge to it now? Okay, go across. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be... You know, in the lines, on the lines, there's a little bit down here, but none up here. And that is perfectly fine. Just kind of figure out where you want it. All right. And I'm noticing that this tape right here is probably a little bit on my image, but just a little. Because I should have moved it up a little bit. So I'm going to make sure I go back in here and get that. All right, so there we go. All right, and then we have Pacific Point that I just stuck my finger in. All right, so now again, Pacific Point. Thank you for the person who just signed up for Bingo. I appreciate it. All right. So you're just going to go lightly. And see how now it's just darkening it a little bit. Again, you're going to get your darkest lines because you're going in and out. And it's catching on the outside of the stencil. And you're going to have your darker line closest to that. And now this is Pacific Point, but you don't think it's that dark, right? I mean, it's normally a lot darker. Okay, and I'm going to add a little more of the Pacific Point. Just to give it a little bit more of a darker color than I did before. Okay. Now we're going to lift this up and pull it away. And look how pretty that is. So that's what we have with all three colors. It kind of looks like peacock, pretty peacock. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take that away. But yeah, that does look like pretty peacock now, which I love. This one looks a little more blue, but not a whole lot. It's definitely lighter. And I did this one a little more bold. I didn't want as much white over here, but I still wanted some white. Now, I think we're going to change it up a little bit. I did not like the black polka dots. I'll tell you that. That's what I did that I didn't like. So, I'm going to... I was blending brushes the first time. Oh, my gosh. I was shocked. How easy. Yes. Oh, good, Sharon. I'm glad you like them. I know um, somebody else just bought them for the first time, too, and I can't wait for her to play with them. Um, I don't know if she is on here or not, but... I have, Kathy. Um, do a search. Um, I did a video, I believe, on those. 
um, so you'll have to, to do a search there. Okay, now, um, really simple, which is what we've done, is we're going to take our artistically inked. I just love that stamp set. And we're going to do our polished pink. Now move your brush before you stick your arm in it. All right, we're going to do our, our flower image. We'll put that right here. We're going to die cut these out. Don't forget, so we need to make sure we close everything up when we're done and make enough space when you're die cutting oh good olivia you did yay all right again here's two of my flowers i almost changed up the flower color because i always i always go to these flowers but i thought it looked so good with the blue i just left it but I may have to, my next flower card, I'm going to have to go with a different color. Oh, don't forget, pull out the little flower, this little one right here. And just do a little stamp in the middle there, just to kind of give it some color. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in another one with Granny Apple. So again, this is Polished Pink, Mango Melody, and Granny Apple for the leaves. You know, my go-to colors. I will change that next time. So I'm going to do three of the larger leaves and three of the smaller. And then really that gives us nine leaves. Okay, quick and simple. And now we need our sentiment and I'm just going to do the happy birthday and I'm going to change it up a little bit so let's put that there and I just realized I could use one of my little strips here that I have and I also have smaller ones so let's see remember I told you that I keep a little a little thing here with a bunch of little strips so let's just see what it does okay and I'm just going to do it in memento. So before I put ink on it, um, I really think I could do it in this smaller one. So let's try that first. With my head probably in the way because I need to hold it over here. And I'm looking at the ink. The stamp and the paper to make sure I get it on here. Oh yeah, my head's in the way, sorry. Okay, so that is good. That's what I'm going to do. So, see how useful those are? Alright. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this like this or like this. I think I'm going to do it like this. Just to kind of add just a little all right, so we'll move that aside. And through the magic of TV, I've already die cut those for you. So let's put this together. I'm going to go ahead and add this on here. But do we want to add a ribbon? I kind of think it needs something. I'm thinking. I just decided that it needed something. So hold on here. I really like my crinkle white ribbon and because we're putting all the color over here on top of the blue we're gonna put a ribbon and I'm not gonna color it I'm gonna leave it just like it is and I'm gonna do three because it is such a um, nice light ribbon and so I'm just gonna cut it right about there All right, so if you haven't seen my ribbon video on um, how to tie bows, it's a great video. All right, let's do that. One, two, three. All right, and then you go over, and then you make it like a four. Okay, so forget this. Think of the, the bow in the back and bring it forward, and then you're going to go under. 
A lot of people want to come under this way. Well, that's not going to make a bow. Always remember that you have to go across. So you need to go across and under for it to hold. That's the biggest part people have problems with. So across and under. Yep. Oh, I do too, Katie. This is the best ribbon. And this is the best ribbon to color. I absolutely love coloring it. But I think it's going to be white and I think it's going to be really pretty. So let's adhere this. Let's take the cap off first. Tomorrow I'm working on um, my last couple bingo projects and yesterday I had to sit out in the front room with my dogs and couldn't be in my craft room. So I decided I'm going to, oh Tashana, I saw that you did a live and I need to go watch it. Um, I saw it post but we were watching TV and my husband would have not appreciated the sound so um but I will be watching it. Okay, I'm gonna put this, I'm not sure where I'm putting this yet. I'm gonna put the large flower on, or kind of almost ready on. Um, but, so I worked on my Christmas card list for my customers and my team. And get all that going, so I'm excited about that. Okay, I think it's gonna go, maybe I'll put it right here. No, that kind of covers everything. I think I'm going to put it right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should it go right there to the bottom of the flower or should it go to the right here and we'll cluster everything kind of around it? I don't think it should go up here because it's going to kind of cover everything. I'm kind of thinking. I think down here. Middle, bottom, bottom, bottom. Here's the bottom, like here, because we can bring the flowers up some. And then the middle over here. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to bring this up, bring this down. So we'll put the leaves down here because I want to put the sentiment kind of in here. So... It won't be on the very bottom because we'll put some leaves down there, but I'm thinking right about there. Let's let's give it a whirl and see what happens. All right, so we're just going to take our glue dot. Again, take my flower, kind of get an idea of where I want it. This way. Right about there, I think. Okay, we'll put that right there. And then go around. And then what I like to do is come back. Come back and go over the top. And under over here. Pull it under. And then pull it close because there's a glue dot already there, right? So that kind of looks like we have our little tails. And then I like to put another, tuck another glue dot right here. Just kind of squish it in there. And it's holding that other ribbon that came from the back side. It's just like stuck right to it so we know that it's it's there okay so there's our triple there we go all right so that's good for now let's get our dimensionals in here see what we can come up with yeah once i did it i loved the colors i loved everything i didn't like the black polka dots so we're going to change that a bit we're still going to have some polka dots somewhere but all right so let's Put this right 
kind of right I'm going to go over the top here, right about there, because so we are changing it up a little bit. And then we'll add our leaves. Okay, so this might be tricky because our bow is right, right, right there. So we can always lift our bow right because it is on dimensionals stick our leaves in here and remember we're going to have our card base a little bit out but not much so i'm going to lift a little farther okay so right there i'm good with and i'm going to add another glue dot under my bow just to make sure so you could add your flower and then add your leaves oh what happened to my glue dot here we go and then put the bow on here. Okay, so there we go. All right, we'll we'll move that around once we get it to how we want it. All right, now let's do our other before we lose our leaves here. Oh, Laura, that'd be nice. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to put this up here. We're going to add black on here, but it's not going to be the black dots. So we're going to change that up just a little bit. But there will be some black. I will show you. Um, I'm just going to put one. You really just need one. These dimensionals, you guys know how they hold. And since we're sticking leaves behind them, I want to make sure that I want the character of all of this down so we can see it. So I'll just tuck that in right there. We are going to add... I really appreciate your guys' thumbs up. That really does help my channel a lot. Okay, again, I want this little fun character over here a little bit. So we're going to go upwards. And I don't really mind if we do or don't see the ribbon. This is the main part I wanted. But I didn't want to just stick it on there. I just feel like it's way more secure when it's actually on there. Okay, so now I'm going to get my mini dimensionals and we'll just add those on here oh my husband just came in and let the dogs in he's probably wondering what was eaten because I told him well something was eaten off the counter and it wasn't food all right, so there's that. And I liked the placing of the leaves that I had before, so I'm good with that. Um, and these leaves could really go either way. Like this could be the top or this could be the top. I kind of like the more character one, just kind of up there. And I'm just going to kind of make that one longer. All right, and I probably should have done the black, I'm thinking, before I did my bow, but that's okay. We can work that out. All right, so there's that. Now, before I put the happy birthday on, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a block, move, make some room here. Okay, so I'm going to take this and open up this page because that's already messy and put that on here. This will be my little protector. See what I did? I made my own, my little box here myself. Then I'm going to take some black and just put it on there. Then I'm going to take some of my older Wink Estella. Okay, so this one's more like a Wink Estella brush that has a little bit. This is a newer one that I had. 
So we're going to add a little bit of Wink Estella on here because I know I have some in here. Okay, so there's some Wink Estella. But I'm going to take my older brush that I have. Hi, Rio, how are you? Oh, gosh, Rio, that's funny. Yeah, he's a, a, a she. I keep saying he, but it's a she. Her name is Honey. She's adorable, but oof. My little, my little multi-poo is just as calm as can be, and he finally gets to go get a haircut today. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, I've done this before. I know you guys have seen. I'm just going to take this Wink Estella, and we're going to splatter some on it. I want some bigger dots on here, too. So just kind of gather up your big like this. Okay, and I think that's enough. And look at that. I didn't even get it on the bow. Yay. All right. And then wipe your, even wipe off this because you do have it all over. And then take this and just wipe it. And now you can't even see the black on there. It comes right off and then it's just fine. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, now... We're going to take this, get our sentiment ready. So now we have black, but they're not super black. It's a little more of a silvery black. Let me hold it up for you. So we've got some pretty silvery black on there instead. Oh, they are. I think that's why I'm glad that my puppy is no longer a puppy. She, um, he's like three and he's just over here sleeping away. All right, so we're going to trim this ribbon so it's not like completely off. And I don't mind if it's hanging off a little bit because it's going to go on that card base and it'll be fine. Let's take this and add some dimensionals. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it's really empty up there because I want to put this down here, but that's okay because we're going to add something up there all right so when your dimensionals are close to the same size just make sure that you take your flat sides and then put them on the top and bottom and so it'll fit right inside and these scrap pieces that I have just kind of worked out perfectly all right so there we go right here all right we have our bow so we're going to snuggle our bow, our sentiment, just right there. We know it says happy birthday, right? I want to show that big dot right there. So I think I'm just going to move this right about here. Okay, so now we have our pretty bow. And I'm going to twist our bow a little bit. It's on a glue dot, so it's pretty forgiving. Just kind of twist it. Now I have it to the side a little, which I like better. Are you using a Timeless Tropical Clean? No, I decided not to. I did use it for the sentiment up here, but I decided to use this nice bold one here instead. But that does leave this open, and for me, that's really, really hard because normally I like everything covered up. So there's a couple things you could do. We could add another flower. So we could take another large pink flower and a yellow flower. So that's option one. Option two is before we put these on, we could have embossed this, which we could have done. The other option we could do is we could have, we could just add some stones over here to kind of, you know, and fill it in with some some rhinestones so what do you think oh good debbie and welcome i got cut off somehow you gotta i can reply on oh sorry about that lorna if you want to stay current take your bar and roll it all the way to the right and you should be fine so do you think we should add oh a b that's a good idea that's a really good idea hi tisha Okay, so I have these little things from, I think it's Crafter's Companion, or honestly, I think this one's Amazon. 
Um, so I think we will add a B or two. So we can add a B right here. And a little B over here maybe. Just kind of tucked right there and one up here. What do you guys think? Oh, Tisha, welcome. I love the bees too. I think that's enough. I was going to add some rhinestones, but I think with the sparkly wink Estella with the black, I think I'll add the bees. Oh, we should do three though, right? Is three too much? Because two is an even number. And maybe what we'll do is we'll put the third one down here, just tucked in right there. What do you guys think? Is that okay? We got to do three, right? I think the bees are perfect. Great idea. Okay, who gave me the bee idea? Uh, I know I, oh, you guys, a lot of people said rhinestones. Nancy Lee. Rhinestones is what I was going to do, but bees is what it is. Because I love rhinestones. I have a ton of rhinestones. All right, these bees. Okay, I need to get more of these bees. They are so cute. Okay, so, and then we got to have one on the flower, right? One's got to be on the flower. Doing his thing. Put him right there. And then I like this one just hidden. Poking out a little bit. He's hiding. Uh, let's see. Bees look lovely. Where are they from? Oh, they're stamping up. Um, so they are, I can, I'll, I'll link, I'll link the stuff I used here below, um, since I changed it up. All right. So we'll just sneak this guy. I want him kind of crawling out. We'll put him like right, like right here. What do you guys think? Right here? Just kind of like he's hiding right there. Okay. So now... I like to feel if he's very heavy, because if he's very heavy, my card, then I would um, use glue, but he's not at all. So I'm going to go with my seal. I like to make sure it's on my ribbon. So it doesn't slide, although he's stuck underneath everything. I don't think it's sliding anywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love the bee idea. Okay, so... My white paper is a tiny bit off, and that's going to drive me crazy. So, crazier, as Stephanie would say. I don't know why she thinks I'm crazy, but she does. All right, so let's put these right here. All right, there we go. That is our card for today. So here was our first one. Um, I still don't like how that is empty. But I don't want to put those on there. So what we can do is I think we're going to take this Wink of Stella that we had. Which one did we use? This one. And I'm just going to add a little specks right there because there's just a tad just to kind of discolor it a little bit and then it's got the the wink Estella there and I like that that looks fine at least it looks like it's filled in a little bit I like her, her idea of the bee line squiggly oh that's a good idea can you still use the ink masking over the embossed paper. Uh, I, you know what, Laura, what you would do is do your your ink masking first and then emboss it. And yes, that's no problem at all. Right, Tishana? Bees are always a good idea. I'm trying to look back. Oh, we can sell a squiggly. Oh, I like that. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me let me get a paper here oh see it had a big drop I wanted to make sure because this is a new a new okay so there's a squiggly on that one it's hard to see but it's there 
it's hard to see, but there is a squiggly there. And then I'll just, oh, see what happened? Because I was, I squeezed this one earlier in the video. We had a little accident right there. Okay. So, yes, I can see that squiggly. It might be really hard for you guys to see it, but it's there. All right. Oh, Marsha, I hope you do. So, you know, I what I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of DSP in the background, a lot of things. But I want to show you that with the blends, just take some colors. Like this blue is not even in the color pattern, but look how it really just pops. I mean, that would look so pretty with black in the background. It's just something different. Add it. You could fill up the whole page if you want. I thought that was a little bit much. Um, so I wanted to just kind of do a soft outline of it and this one's a lot softer. I wanted to do a little bit bolder. I didn't want to add the black dots on this one. I decided to change the sentiment and you cannot go wrong with the sentiments here. Hello, best wishes, thanks, happy birthday. Any of those would have been perfect. And so, um, I decided instead of the black dots, I used this Wink Estella with some black, Memento ink, just put that on a block. And I tend to like to save an old Wink Estella to use as my brush to kind of, you know, splatter with. I also use my current one. That's not a big deal, but because I use black, I decided to use a different one. Um, and I added the bow and added the bees. And so I just kind of, you know, changed it up, made it look a little different. You could you know, move these out of the way so you can see the sentiment, but obviously they can see it. And I think it's really pretty. I'm going to move my bow over a little bit. And there we go. So we have two completely uh, same cards with a few changes on things. I need to order the blending brushes. Oh, Gloria, you do. They are super simple to use. Even if you took a plain white piece of paper with no stencil and um, let's see, I had these stamped and you just want to just make sure you start off on the outside. I like the darker edges, so it just depends on what you like. Um, so I tend to make sure that I do that. But so look how pretty that is for a sky. So you've already got your clouds. You're already, you know, on your way to such a fun card and do a scene. And I love doing scenes. So. Right, Laura? I think you'll love them too. Okay, so a couple of fun announcements that I'm going to be doing is I am going to start doing some online classes. And so there'll be kit classes. Um, so I'll have two options. I'll do a kit class um, for those who want the kit. And then I'll also have a fee for the same class that does not have a kit because I know there's um, overseas people or people that may already have the projects. Um, so we're going to do something like that. Um, so be looking for that in January. Um, I'm really excited to start doing that. I've been asked a lot about it. I have tried to do a couple and um, I think timing was off. I didn't have a big group, but I'm going to start doing some kit classes and um, especially with the new stuff and the new catalog coming. Um, that way you can kind of get an idea of what you might want and what you don't want. Or, you know, you can kind of see the projects and then decide, yeah, you know what, I do want that. Especially when you have some projects ready to go. It's a little easier to start out with. Who I'm thirsty. Oh, Linda, they're amazing to do a sky because like I said, you can see the white. And it already just looks like kind of a cloudy, natural looking sky. I love it. When do you do the demonstrators get the new catalogs? Um, they're starting to get them now. So you should be getting them anytime. When will you be mailing the mini catalogs to us? Um, so for my customers, the mini catalogs, I signed off on them yesterday. We have to do it by the end of the month. And then they're going to start going out. They're not. Um, so if you are a customer you will not be able to purchase until January 4th. If you want to get a discount and get the product early, you can get it December 1st. Well, 
but you need to join my team and then um, you will get early access and um, you will be able to get a discount on all of that. Now, that being said, I want to do a quick little snippet again. Um, a lot of people ask about becoming demonstrators and you get a discount. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do classes. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Um, there is a $300 quota a quarter. That being said, if you join today, you will get a discount through the end of April without a quota at all into April. End of March is a quarter. April is a grace period. So it lets you get that rest of that $300. And that starts today. If you sign up today, you have till the end of April to get $300. You want to start from March and try to get it by then because then April, May, and June is your new quarter. Now, if you make $300 in sales by the end of March, April, May, and June is your next quarter, July being your grace period. And guess what happens during that time? The new annual huge catalog. And so you will also have access to that, get a discount on it until you drop off. If you don't meet your quota, um, April, May, June, into July, you'll drop off, but you've already had a chance to purchase all your new stuff from the new catalog. So think about it, think about it, think about it, and let me know. Uh, yes, hobbyist demonstrators, that's absolutely. Most of mine, I have one person that, um, that is, is making it a business and the rest are hobby. And there is nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Yep. Be a discount shopper and get it bad for the budget though. All the while Nancy Lee, you know that, um, you're going to buy it anyway. So you might as well try and buy it at a discount. Yeah, Lisa. So those catalogs for customers, um, if you are um, a customer that have, has ordered from me this year, you will get one in the mail and I'll announce it when they start, you know, getting received, but it's a lot closer to January um, when they start sending those out. Right, Linda? That's how I started. I started as a hobby demonstrator. All I wanted was a discount. I was going to a ladies class and I was buying stuff and buying stuff. And I was like, what am I doing? I don't want to sell it. I, and I didn't even tell her. I didn't really know her. I went to a couple classes. Uh, she was close by. And I didn't, this is the first time I signed up. And I didn't really know her. And I was like, I'm just going to sign up and get my own discount. I, I can do my own thing. I don't need, you know, to go to classes or anything. So I decided I'm going to join and get a discount. And I loved it. Um, I did leave for a short while. I had a lot of other stuff going on. I tried other companies. I tried doing an affiliate for all those companies out there. And it just, I just, I wasn't as happy. So I decided to come back to Stamping Up. And they had made some changes. And I absolutely love Stamping Up now. And it is just so nice. I'm trying to read comments. Sorry. I know if you guys have already seen the video, you're probably like, okay, we're done. Um, but I like to try to read the comments and answer questions. So here is this. Yeah. And that's another thing. Budget. What's a budget every time I watch Francis's video? I know Katie, you're just like, oh, that's how I was. So here are the cards. We went from one, made a few changes, went to the other. I love the addition of the bees. Great, great suggestion. Again, if you're interested in a discount or have any questions about it, let me know. I know a few people ask about, um, oh, Sharon, you're so sweet. A few people ask about, oh, I don't, you know, I can't have a second job. I don't want another job. You don't even have to tell anybody you're a demonstrator if you can make your quota. If you want, you can share with your friends and say, you can offer your discount to your friends. I mean, if you don't want to do it as a business and you just want to get a discount, share away. It's what you can do what you want with your business. I wouldn't suggest that because that just gives you more things um, to play with. But you definitely want to maybe have a special and say, I'll do free shipping for you guys this month if you need anything. $100 a month. Yep. Yeah. It's $300 
a, a quarter. So because now is in the middle of a quarter, then you're going to get October, November, December, January, February, March. That's your first official quarter is January, February, March. So all of this time through the end of March is when you need to reach your 300. If you say, I'm going to try it. If I can't make it, then I won't make it. I have no problem with that. That's what I did. I didn't have anybody to sell to. I was just going to do my own discount. And I figured, well, I'm going to get it while I can. And if I make it, I make it. And of course, surprisingly, I made it. And so in this case, the next semester is going, semester, quarter, is going to be the big catalog. So by the time, and trust me, when you see the new mini catalog, um, you're going to have plenty to want. Look at this windmill. Look how cute that is. And the tulips. I'm, I'm telling you, this catalog is amazing. I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so here, I can show you the back. So here's the person drawing when she did the DSP and stuff. But look at the dies. Look at the dies right there. There's a die and some flowers and some paper. And it is time consuming. I love it. It's therapy. Oh, good, Debbie. So, Francis, I hope that explained. Yeah, basically, it's $100 a month. But like I said, if you start now, you have until April, the end of April, to get your quota, which is 300 That's a long time. And then that will guarantee you to get into the new catalog. Yep, that's it. Be a discount shopper. You don't have to be, you don't have to be a demonstrator. You don't have to demonstrate or any of that. Yes, you have my permission to buy, of course. I am going to do a paper share. Thank you, Perry. That is one of the things I was going to work on this week once the dogs are gone. Um, I'm going to go through the catalog and figure out all the paper share. I'm definitely going to do a paper share. Um, and I'm just going to tell you that if you like punches, this catalog, okay, I think I can tell you how many are in here. I can't show you, but I can tell you, I want to say there's like six. Hold on, hold the phone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six punches. And I want every one of them. Of course, if there's a punch. Okay, and there's a new stencil set. Okay, and, oh, I can show you this because I made it. I kind of, I half made it, so I can show you, right? Well, look at this. For your Valentine's Day. It's not finished. But look, it's a little box that you could put your little conversation hearts in. How cute is that? I, I, I cut this out. I die cut it with the new dies. But this is there too. Right, Tashana? you got to have the punches. So yes, if you guys are interested in the paper share, I'd love to have you join. Excuse me. I will get the information up this week and the sign up and everything. So that'll be there. No punches. Are there any folders? Oh, I love punches. Marcy, the cards are beautiful. Oh, no, Judith. Oh, I know the new catalog. Um, no, my husband, we got a new cable box and he was working on it. And I'm like, you can work on it, but it better not mess up my internet. Well, the internet went down like 10 minutes before. And so he fixed it. Embossing folders. One, two, three, four, five embossing folders. But two of them are, oh, I did not even notice this. Okay, did you guys, okay, on page 86, the third embossing folder over, it's two smaller ones, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I did not notice it, so I'm going to have to go find it. Okay, sorry, I'm teasing you guys, but. Oh. Okay, see, I didn't even see that. Okay, anyway. I got to go look at the catalog again because obviously there's more things in there that I'm missing. Punches and folders, Nancy, latest catalogs for you for sure. I love embossing folders too. Um, so, yes, there will be a paper share. 
January's bingo, I am going to put that up also sometime really soon because it will be new product. Okay, because I'm ordering in December. So whatever I can get my hands on, that'll be January's bingo. So make sure you're there for that. I know, Tashana. I normally do, and I just couldn't do it this time. New embossing folders that are different from old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Terry, I used to have so many, and then I got really good and got rid of a lot of stuff because I had a lot. Um, okay, so one is a hybrid embossing folder. You know what that means, the dyed embossing folder. Oh, I can show you that because I made a card. Here, this. This is one of the embossing folders. Okay, so that is one of them there. And those are some new rhinestones. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are called Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. But that's the folder. All right. And then I can't tell you what they are, but um, trust me, you'll want all the folders. So start, ask for money, ask for a gift card from my shop for Christmas. Tell them to email me. I will work it out and get you a gift card. So I can definitely do that. Um, I want to tell you so badly some things. Okay. So, all right. I, I've held you guys here long enough. I know people are thinking, wow, she doesn't be quiet. And my husband's like, is she done yet? <laughs> oh, I got to take the dog to the groomers too. Look at me. It's only one o'clock. Okay, so paper shares coming, January bingo, all new products. Thanks, Tashana. See you later. Um, and then don't forget about bingo for December. It's going to be a lot of fun. My bingo participants are going to get a little something special in their package because it is Christmas time, right? And so um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So far, we have a fancy fold and a... Um, days to remember and that's going to be a really fun fun one oh thanks nancy all right everybody thank you so much i've got to go finish dog sitting i'm going to work on my paper share and anything i can do out there because um i've got dogs to watch my husband's fixing our motor home something happened with the roof or he's sealing something up it's not a leak i don't know what it is but he's fixing something. I think he doesn't want to be in with the dogs. That's what it is. All right, everybody. You are welcome. Have a fantastic day. I feel like it was such a short video, but quick and simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys are interested in finding out anything else about joining the team or have any questions at all, please let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it. Oh, Laura, that's totally up to you. I can still send you your projects and you'll get all the goodies. And really, a lot of people say, you know, a lot of people do pay for the bingo and they just get the kit and everything that comes with it because it's worth it and, and you don't have to do the bingo. So that's totally up to you if that's um, that important. So hopefully you can do just that. I'd love to have you um, join. All right, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, everybody.